Now, when we have an expression of the form a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc, we can also write it as a plus b plus c into a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca. Now, we can get this from this by following proper steps. Also, we can get this from this by expanding it. So, you can expand it and verify that we get this. So, this is an identity. It is true for all values of A, B and C. A cube plus B cube plus C cube minus 3 A, B, C is equal to A plus B plus C into A square plus B square plus C square minus AB minus BC minus CA. Now what happens if A plus B plus C is equal to 0? In some case, we might have A plus B plus C is equal to 0. Then this right hand side will be 0 into this entire expression. 0 into anything will be 0. So this entire right hand side will be equal to 0. So we'll have a plus b plus c into a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca equal to 0. So we'll have this. This means a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc will be equal to 0 because the entire right hand side is equal to 0. So, a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc will be equal to 0. Or, we can say a cube plus b cube plus c cube is equal to 3abc. So, when this holds, we'll have this. So, if a plus b plus c is equal to 0, then a cube plus b cube plus c cube is equal to 3abc. This is a conditional identity. This is a conditional identity. Why is it called a conditional identity? Because this holds, this holds only if this condition is true. So, this holds only if this condition is true. Hence, it is called a conditional identity. So, we can use it to find the sum of the cubes of three numbers if the numbers are such that their sum is equal to 0. So, if we have to find 4 cube plus 6 cube minus 10 cube, how can we find it using this? Now, notice that this can be written as 4 cube plus 6 cube plus negative 10 whole cube because negative 10 whole cube is equal to minus 10 cube. So this is the sum of the cubes of 3 numbers. Here also we have the sum of the cubes of 3 numbers but we can use it only if this holds so let us check whether it holds. Compare 4 to A, 6 to B and negative 10 to C. Note that negative 10 is C. 10 is not C. So now A plus B plus C is equal to 4 plus 6 plus negative 10 which is equal to 4 plus 6 minus 10 which is equal to 0. So we have a plus b plus c equal to 0. So yes, this condition holds. Hence we can use this identity. So a cube plus b cube plus c cube is 3abc. So 3 into a is 4 into b is 6 into c is negative 10. Don't get it wrong by putting a 10 here. 
So this becomes, we have a negative sign. We take this. 3 into 4 is 12. 12 into 6 is 72. 72 into 10 is 720. So this is what we have. You can also verify it by calculating the cube of 4, calculating the cube of 6, the cube of 10 and by adding these two and then subtracting it. We'll get the same answer.